This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. With us today, we have Miss Misty Stein. Misty is the Vice President of Business Development for EX Squared Technology. Misty, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks, Dean. You bet, you bet. Misty, we're gonna jump right in here. Why, uh, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a bit more about EX Squared? Okay, great, I'd love to. So EX Squared is a design, build, maintain company that deploys uh, fiber and wireless technology for municipalities, uh, DOT, uh, and, and turnpike organizations and uh, other private industry. Our specialty is designing and building fiber optic and wireless networks and also ITS systems. And one of the other things that we do for our customers is when we deploy their uh, fiber technology or other communications technology, we also look for ways to help them commercialize the asset. And what that means is, is that we uh, really create a right-of-way development program that is a, is a different twist on public-private partnership, helping them find ways to generate revenue off of either fiber or wireless leases to uh, other carriers on an open access basis. And it helps them offset their cost of construction, but also provides a revenue stream for future projects. Outstanding, Misty. So um, I'm going to jump right into the meat and potatoes now. You must be doing something right because um, let's talk about Atlanta, specifically the Atlanta Beltline. Um, you guys have had your hands in some pretty serious um, construction there in Atlanta. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that news? Right. So Atlanta Beltline is a perfect example of a turnkey program that hits on all of the things that that EX Square specializes in, but also helps advance the programs that Atlanta Beltline is trying to achieve today. So Atlanta Beltline is a 22 mile uh, abandoned railroad right away that has been redeveloped in an economic, it's really an economic development program that's been redeveloped to provide uh, a walking trail in the heart of Atlanta. Um, so as an econo economic development program, uh, the Atlanta Beltline wants to provide enhanced services to not only the, the folks that walk along the trail, but also to the folks who use broadband along the trail. There's a large population of people uh, that surround the 22 mile uh, right away, including um, both served and underserved programs or um, served and underserved neighborhoods. And what I mean by that is some neighborhoods have broadband capability uh, available to them today and others do not. So ABI went out for an RFP a couple of years ago and we're really looking for a partner to help them accelerate their communications backbone so that they could provide a smart corridor kind of initiative, not only with smart lighting, uh, but also to provide Wi-Fi to residents along the, the, the trail that currently do not have uh, availability to good robust broadband and then also to provide services to carriers so that they could acquire duct and dark fiber along the right away to help achieve their goals and to provide services along the belt line. So very cool project. We're really excited to be a part of it. Um, we are in the design phase currently. Uh, we'll be installing what we call the accelerated duct system. So it'll be a three, one and a quarter inch duct system uh, that will populate with a large fiber cable. Again, that will be available to any carrier or, or, or wireless company that, that has a desire to help advance broadband along the uh, Atlanta Beltline. And then in exchange for that, Atlanta Beltline then has capacity to offer some additional services, including uh, uh, public safety along the Beltline, um, again, a Wi-Fi along the Beltline, and then also uh, uh, smart lighting, um, interactive kiosks, and all kinds of exciting technology that they currently do not have um, the ability to offer. Outstanding. So um, you're providing a better segue than I could um, ever provide for myself. Obviously, there's a lot of benefits to this partnership um, with you folks and ABI, um, specifically the, the surrounding communities. Can you talk a little bit more about those benefits? So I, I would say that the biggest benefit to the Atlanta Beltline and to the and, and to the folks that live along the Be Atlanta Beltline is, is the acceleration of this communications network. Uh, currently, if if Atlanta Beltline were to fund the program with budget dollars that they have allocated on an annual basis, it would take them 13 years to complete the Beltline communications network. This allows them to achieve that goal in less than a year. So we'll, we'll have capacity on the Beltline available to do all the things that we talked about, you know, to provide better lighting, to provide better surveillance, to provide interactive services, uh, potentially to provide telehealth, 
um, uh, cap capabilities to connect schools, uh, to connect um, other businesses. So what it really does is just accelerates that by 12 years and, uh, and provides them with a more robust, exciting program that they can uh, benefit the, the, the public that uses the, the, the trail. I love it. I love it. Um, a, a perfect blend of, you know, business and community. Um, um, very, very cool stuff. Um, but that is uh, one of likely many things that are going on with uh, with EX Squared. Um, but that was 2018. Let's talk a little right. bit about 2019. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what they might be able to expect from EX Squared in 2019? So we'll be making a couple of really big announcements at the beginning of the year. One is we're working with um, a turnpike authority where we'll be designing and building a multiple um, uh, duct and fiber network uh, along their right of way to support their intelligent transportation systems and then to also uh, develop enhanced uh, um, enhanced uh, truck parking and, and a variety of other way in motion and wrong way detection and all kinds of other technology that we'll deploy for this particular uh, turnpike authority. So once we uh, complete the uh, uh, contract execution, which uh, we expect will be uh, in, the, in the coming days, then we'll be able to make an announcement about who that customer is and more details about what we're going to be doing for them. Um, so, so that's a pretty exciting program. It's also a, a program that they've been working on for some time and, and we're excited to be a part of it. Uh, we have another program that uh, I think we'll be in a position to talk about more in January, February timeframe where we're developing a uh, telehealth network that will connect hospitals in a rural uh, area in Arizona. And it's an area that, that has really no broadband and, 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 and the, the, the largest uh, healthcare provider there bought the last gig of service out of that area. So, so there's literally no more service available right. and that's a network as a, another pro public private program that we'll be developing with, um, with the, the healthcare association and their, uh, their customers and hospitals and, and potentially uh, uh, schools will ultimately connect to that uh, network as well. So that'll be another really exciting program. Um, that we hope to announce uh, shortly after the first of the year. I absolutely love it. You're going right where you are needed most. That is, uh, that's really, really great. Misty, I can't thank you enough for being with us today on JSA TV. Um, so please do come back. Uh, we'd love to talk to you some more at the beginning of next year once some of these uh, these deals. We do appreciate you're giving us a, a, a glimpse at to uh, what's what we can expect in 2019, but we'd love to talk to you again. Great. Thanks, Dean. I appreciate your time and have a fabulous holiday and we'll catch up after the first of the year. You bet. Thank you, Misty. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.